usually before I even explain how it's done, I always ask the spectator if they have an idea how it's done because to make the, the whole deck suspend in midair is only by this card. Okay, it's only one card and I always you know, try to make it fun before I even explain how it's done. And this is how I'm actually do this effect. Right in the middle of the Joker, I have Nylon Thread. It's elastic, it stretch a little bit, and um, I have two cards, and right in the middle, let me show you, I have double-sided tape from side to side, not all the way on top, it is right here, I don't know if you can tell, uh, you can use any nylon thread, it has to be clear color, in this case, I use this one, this is elastic, I guess it doesn't really matter the brand, let me show you, it stretches, it's not really that strong, but at least you can use it in this performance, so you can use any other regular nylon thread. But this is mainly for crafty stuff, to create like bracelets and things like that. And I use a duct tape because it is really strong and it has a lot of consistency in the glue. And you can use any other method to attach this thread in there, but this is the average that I use the loop, depending on the thickness of your fingers as well. But well, there are many other ways you can attach this uh, nylon thread and uh, I'm just hiding that nylon thread in between two cords. Now this cord, I put it all the way on top, then it goes right in the middle, the two jokers. Then when I show, I always show both sides from the short side, this side and this side as well. I always leave the loop towards me, so when I show the front, show this way and then this other way so that they know there are no fancy stuff going on around. Then this joker, the gimmick card, has to be somewhere around 8 cards below. I always do the overhand shuffle, I take a little stack, okay? That's about 8, 10 cards. Doesn't have to be exactly 8, 10 cards, okay? And because of the thickness of the duct tape and the thread itself, I just split those two cards in the middle, you can see a little gap and that nylon thread will come out automatically because it is the elastic thread, okay? That's why it will come off right off when I split those two cards, that's the nice thing. Make sure you don't place the joker all the way underneath because when you try to place the finger right inside, it's not going to give you the necessary support. So just keep a little stack, about eight cards below the joker, the gimme card. And to introduce the middle finger right into the loop, in a really subtle way, that it doesn't look too suspicious, I grab it with a thumb on top and second and third finger underneath, with the purpose of doing this, okay, to refold the cards. At this point, I already introduced the middle finger right into the loop. You can place both hands. This is very important that the deck of playing cards is not brand new. Now this is almost brand new, but I had to shuffle to remove the excessive glossiness for about 5 hours, because they were too glossy and when you do this effect, all the cards were moving around, okay, so I need to remove the excessive glossiness. You can show the bottom very quickly, this loop will not flash that easily. Now obviously in the performance you watch this effect almost in 20 degrees, it's better for a spectator to watch this effect in 45 degree angle, so there is no way you know, they see the loop. And just do some gesture, fancy moves, and let it go. You can show the front in both sides, from the long side, do not show the back, they will see the loop. I guess that's it pretty much, you can be very careful, just play the middle finger and the index finger, and this ring finger and forefinger, just uh, keep them away, so then uh, you're only using two fingers, so it looks more fancy. The most difficult part is not really that difficult, just take the card from underneath and slide it, use it as a support, so the rest of the deck doesn't move away, show the card and move it all the way around the deck. If you're on top, you're pretty much done. You can pull the finger out in the loop by doing again this gesture, and that's it. 
Now another way you can perform this effect using for example a cell phone, you can place this loop on any jack from the earphones and then you can place that jack into the phone, any cell phone, and you can perform the similar effect. And that's all you need pretty much to accomplish this effect, just one gimmick card.